Welcome to another Heldeberg gear review. Today I'm going to do a review of the Filson 48 hour 10 cloth duffel. I'm Paul Potratz, and today we're going to talk about the Filson 10 cloth 48 hour duffel bag. But I have a confession to make. I am absolutely a 10 cloth fanatic. Even the Helderberg hats are 10 cloth. So you're probably wondering what exactly is 10 cloth? Well, 10 cloth is cotton that's been covered with wax. Um, it, it's basically been heated up and there's a coat of wax on it. And the benefit of doing that, the first benefit, is it makes it waterproof. Uh, I'm not saying water won't go through it eventually, but this is an old, let's call it technology. Well over 100 years ago, if you were a hunter or if you were an outdoorsman or if you were a logger, you needed clothing that was pretty much water repellent. And the way they would do that is they would do a heavier grade cotton and they would cover it with wax. They would heat the cotton up and cover it with wax, and then that cotton would absorb the wax, which would make a natural water repellency. And I love it for that because it has heritage, it has history, it's the way they used to do it. And I also love it too, to be honest, just the look of it, just the look and the feel and how it is. And it's not that this wax you know, waxing comes off on your stuff per se, but it's, it's just nice and it feels and it's stiff. And I think it's part of what it is too, what, what it's all about, that I am the kind of guy that will sit down and polish my boots and polish my belts and, you know, put a, some more wax and some more uh, dye more or less on my boots. And I take pride in that. I take pride in having my stuff and caring for it versus just buying something and wearing it and then throwing it away. So this is the type of bag that you keep it for a lifetime and you pass it down to your family. And you'll, I think you'll see that a lot of times, if not all the time with any of the Helderberg gear reviews or any of the stuff I personally like. Because I don't do reviews of stuff just because I'm going to get a commission on it or they send it to me for free. I'm very selective of what I'll do a review on, but I'm also very selective what I will spend my money on and which I did spend my money on this bag. But I think part of what I enjoy, and maybe you can relate to what I'm getting ready to say, is it's not about the purchase of the item that I find joy and excitement. You know, a lot of people will go to the mall, go around and buy a bunch of stuff they simply don't need or for Christmas time, they'll get a bunch of stuff they simply don't need. I'm very selective on the things that I buy, but what I really enjoy, my point that I'm trying to make, is I enjoy the research. I enjoy the hunt and the research and reading about the company, and that's why you see me wearing a lot of Filson. Filson is probably one of the last companies in, you know, in the world, in the United States, whatever you want to call, that has heritage and they're still doing a number of things the same way they did years ago. Granted, they are getting some of their products made overseas now, and it seems to bother some people. But I will tell you, I've got products like this bag that's made in the USA, and then I've got products that's been made overseas. And the quality and attention to detail is superior, regardless of where it's made. So this 48-hour... 10 cloth duffel, again, we established 10 cloth means it has a wax coating. The attention to detail is superb. It's perfect. It's beautiful. And what I like about it too, the more you use it, it's going to get that patina. It's going to get that aged look. It's going to get character. And I like that on everything, whether it's my boots and my clothing, my Land Rover Defenders, my classic Porsches and all that. But even starting just with the zipper, it's a heavy duty zipper. It's got real leather. It pulls on it. This is a bridal leather. I mean, it's a real leather and you can smell it. The snaps are perfect. And this one's still kind of stiff, but I've, I've had it for about two years now. But everything about it's perfect. The, the actual, what would you call those? The, the snaps, the, the clasp are solid brass. You can feel the heft. 
This is not plastic. You'll see that on a lot of bags. You're going to pay more for this than say some, you know, inexpensive cheap bag that's going to rip at the seams and everything. But what Filson does with their products is they have a lifetime warranty. So if this was to blow out or rip, you can send it back, you can get it fixed. And if it's something that's because of your, your own doing that you ripped it, they have a repair shop and they do this in Seattle or yes, yeah, Seattle, Washington. So Filson is a company that's been, been around for well over a hundred years. And they started in the clothing business where they were building clothes for people that really needed durability in their clothes and their clothes are still durable. I mean, I, I think, you know, if you watch any of my videos with the defenders, generally I am wearing Filson and I, I love the clothing, but it's just the, the superior quality in my opinion. And Filson, quite honestly, is not that expensive when you really start to compare. You can definitely do other brands. And when you start to compare Filson to other brands, not mentioning any of, the, any of those names, you'll see that Filson's not that expensive. And I also look at everything that I'm doing, like this bag, what is my cost per use? This bag, will last a lifetime and it's a multi-purpose bag so let me kind of show you some things again it's called the 48 hour duffel bag it's supposed to be uh, a bag that you can pack enough stuff in here to go out on a trip for 48 hours and i've definitely used it for a 48 hour trip where i put clothing in here and everything else but generally my purpose of this bag is a little different which is of course my doppler bag which is filson but this is a twill but I also have a camera insert in here and I carry my cameras in here. I also, if it's winter time, I carry, you know, my glove, my hats and all that. And of course I, I carry film in here. Uh, I carry a mini iPad. I carry, you know, Tylenol and all that. So it's got all of these pockets and I love the simplicity of it. I, I love how they've designed it in a way that you don't have all of these pockets that make it difficult to actually use it. It's wide open inside and it has a lining inside too. So when you put your clothes in here, you don't have to worry about the tin cloth, the wax coating getting on your clothing because it has a twill lining inside. And you'll even see the attention to detail in the seams, everything. Um, so the question is, am I a Filson fan? Yeah, definitely I am. But it's also one of the things that I'm drawn to. I've had a number of times that I've asked somebody, I'm like, hey, are you, from, you know, they'll say, oh, what's that jacket you're wearing? Or, you know, what are those pants? Or what's that shirt? And I say, it's Filson. And they go, what? So there's a lot of people that don't even know Filson, which I find that surprising because I grew up with names like Filson and Orvis and Woolrich and Pendleton and all of those brands because that's what my dad also appreciated too. My dad was not a wealthy man and anytime he bought something he wanted to buy something that was of quality and that was going to last a long time and I have a number of my dad's items. I mean he's passed but I have some of his Filson bags. I have some of his Woolrich jackets, Pendleton shirts and everything else but it truly is an heirloom product. You'll pay a little more for it, but the quality is superb. It will last a long time and just the attention to detail and what I probably like about it, I'm not going to say the most, but a lot, is the heritage of the company and how they're doing a lot of the things the same way. And this bag is absolutely timeless. This is not going to, you know, go out of style per se. It, this is a style that will be here for a long, long time. I also love that it's not covered in logos. You can look at it and you're not seeing, you know, Filson's logos on it. You're not seeing somebody's goofy initials on it. You're not seeing anything like that. So again, timeless bag, heirloom product, and it's just not common. And that's what I appreciate that it takes a little bit of work to find. And surprisingly enough, and I know this review is running a, a little long, but these bags on the market, and what I mean by that, you can go to the Filson website, which by the way, there's a link in the description, click the link, go buy your bags, whatever, get free shipping. And then you can do free returns if you decide you don't like it. But my point with the Filson bags is these a lot of times are sold out. A lot of the Filson products, any of the tin cloth product will be sold out. So you have to sign up for the alert for when it comes available. 
and there's a number of individuals that will buy their, whether it's the 48 hour duffel, the 24 hour duffel, the journeyman backpack, which I have all of these, uh, small duffel, medium duffel, large duffel, <laughs> list goes on. But people will, individuals will buy those, I should say entrepreneurs will buy them, and then they will sell them on the market, whether it's on eBay or Etsy or whatever, and the price will go up, it, which is interesting that whoever thought that a bag would do that, but that's what happens. So who's this bag for? This bag is for someone that appreciates handmade, which this is a handmade bag made in the US, and someone that when they're whatever they're carrying whatever they appreciate you know whatever they're spending their money on that they appreciate craftsmanship uniqueness and something that you're not going to see i think this bag is multi-purpose it can carry your clothes it can carry your camera gear it can carry whatever you want it to carry and it just goes with everything i wouldn't hesitate if i was still wearing a suits which i don't anymore but i wouldn't hesitate carrying this bag with my suits or carrying this bag with my my bibs. I think it's the perfect bag for everything. And it's a wonderful bag to just throw in the back of your vehicle, throw in your Land Rover Defender in my case. So perfect bag, perfect bag with a lot of heritage.